I have a go-to mount here. This is the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. And this has a, an issue with the reticle. So if we look inside, you can see that when the uh, counterweight is down, the actual mapping of the reticle is off by about uh, 45 degrees or something like that. Now, let me move the, let me loosen this clutch here and then move this and then put that back in. So you could manually move this, but in order to get it right, you would have to have the telescope at about an angle like this. And so I don't want that. And I want it straight up and down. I went on to a bunch of websites looking for a solution and, and most of the people say, oh, just rotate your, your uh, uh, axis here. I'm like, no. When I, uh, it should be set in the home position. So the home position is gonna be straight down with your telescope and your counterweights. This is the home position, and the home position should have your reticle aligned properly. So let's see if we can fix it. Now, look here on top. You can see this mark is lined up uh, pretty closely to the mark here, which it should be. However, what in order to make it work, you'd have to be like this, and so you can't unscrew this. That doesn't work. And so we have uh, a couple of options. What I'm going to do, let me take it out and simply unscrew it. And then here's the up position right here, right there, that mark. So let me take out this eyepiece. I have to set the camera down. All right, so now if you have that mark up and we tilt it like this, you can see the map. And that map is not correct. So we need to move it to the left about 45 degrees, something like that. Now you can see there are two uh, slots where it looks like a spanner wrench would go in there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that spanner ring out here very carefully, getting it back. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get it back. All right, I'm gonna pause the video right here for just a second. Uh, I solved this problem sort of on the fly. It turns out you do not need to actually remove the spanner wrench all the way. All you need to do is loosen up just enough so that the reticule uh, glass piece can rotate. And so um, I'm going to skip ahead to where I found a solution of how to rotate that back. So we'll start there in just a second. All right, I have an idea. So I put the uh, lock ring back in and it's just uh, partially. In fact, I can maybe bring that just a little bit tighter. I don't have the right tool. Okay. So what, I, what my idea here is this. I'm gonna loosen this so that's touching the glass. Oh no. Okay, so that's touching the glass. I'm gonna back off. All right, a little bit. Here's my arrow, and then I'm going to see if there's enough friction to press on this and spin this. No, there wasn't, so let's move to what did work. All right, I have an idea. So here's a piece of uh, painter's tape. I need something with just a tiny bit of sticky that I can move the edge. So I'm gonna put this backwards so the sticky side is out. Okay, that's... Now, I'm gonna turn my light on so I can see, and then I'm gonna See if that'll work, oh yes. Okay, so just on the edges. So there's the arrow. Oh, all right, that's working. A little bit more. 
too much. I'm gonna just go in the same spot. Boy, that doesn't take much stick to make that move. Now that looks pretty square. Wish I had the correct tool. Now, if you're going to do this procedure, ask a friend to hold the glass in place with the sticky, and then you move the lock ring in place. So I had to do this several times because every time I moved the lock ring, it rotated the reticle plate to the right. And so I had to go back and forth over and over until I finally got it aligned. But in the end, it did work. Okay, so it's at the zero mark. And then we tipped up very carefully. There you go. Now you can see that that's now where it's supposed to be. You can see the numbers and everything is upright. And that aligns perfectly now with that mark. All right, now I'm gonna put that back in the mount. All right, so I've got my counterweight down now. Let's take a look here. All right, now that is square. It's probably out of focus because it's set to my eye, but it's square. So problem solved. I do need to pull that uh, lens off there and blow out some of the dust, but now it works. The final step here is I now need to align the polar scope to the mount itself. And there are three tiny little screws in there and I'm going to show you how to do that because anytime you touch this polar scope and do any kind of adjustment, you now have to align it back to the mount so that when you spin the axis around, Polaris does not wobble. Now, I tried to film aligning, but I just couldn't get this clear, but there are three screws on the outside. There's one there and here and here. So what you do is this. I've got it pointed to a crack in a tree that's fixed. And then you place it in the center of the uh, crosshairs. And then, if, and then you spin this 180 degrees like this. Okay. Now, how it moves determines how, what you do. You, le you lock this down like this. And then if the dot, say, let's say it moved down, that means you're going to loosen the bottom one and bring this down and tighten the top two. And you're gonna watch it when you do it inside the eyepiece. So that you, and you wanna try and cut the distance. Here are instructions right here that explain this. So um, here they say you put your uh, center a target here and you move it 180 degrees and then it goes over here so what you're going to have to do is loosen this screw and tighten these two screws till it goes half the distance then you reposition back on the crosshairs and then you rotate it again and see how you are and you're going to do that several times and now mine is just a very small wobble around the center point i could probably get a little bit tighter but that's going to get me very close. And then I can use the ASI Air to fine tune that with the polar alignment tool so that I can get the best guiding as possible. But now I am very, very close. I might try a time or two to get it so that it's right on, but I'm really close. I'm probably within, I would say four arc minutes, something like that based on you know, how I see variations of, of Polaris from what I see in other uh, mounts versus what the polar alignment tool shows. So that's how you do it. And just be very careful and make sure that on your last one, that all three screws are tight. You don't want anything to loosen up. And so that now is, I have got the uh, polar scope aligned with the mount and I have the reticule aligned properly so it's straight up and down. Put this back, spin this back around, and lock that in, and we are done. We're ready to shoot. So thanks for watching, and if you want to see more updates on this EQ6R mount, subscribe to my channel.